Thank you, Charlotte. Teacher left before he even came out here. Down. Uh, good evening. When Charlotte uh, invited me, she told me that everybody in the room would be over 50. And looking around here, I'm thinking, boy, was she being generous. Uh, holy moly. Um, I should tell you now, if I offend any individual or group this evening, it'll be entirely intentional. Um, I have to confess, I just uh, turned 50 myself this year, uh, in May, so I joined you on the dark side. And I'm not doing well with it. I don't like getting older. I didn't like 50 at all. My friends are trying to be nice. They're trying to put, thing, to put my mind at ease a little bit. They give me the cliches. Age is a state of mind. 50 is the new 30. A man is only as old as the woman he feels. <laughs> but that was my grandfather. <laughs> uh, it never really hit me, though, that I was 50 until I got my AARP application in the mail. <laughs> kind of a little mileage marker on the sludge trek to death. Uh, it was a big, thick packet, and it took me a while to get through because I'm not the sharpest knife in the um, knife thing. Uh, apparently, I understand it now, though. If you uh, join the AARP, they will send highly paid lobbyists to Washington to advocate for seniors which in turn will allow me to get 15% off my shoelaces at the Rite Aid on Thursdays. <laughs> so Sweet. Uh, but the best part is at the back of the magazine, for 10 bucks, you can get a pair of those really big sunglasses with the sides on them that go over your regular glasses, conceived apparently to dim the glare of the searchlights when you escape from the lodge. That's terrible. I, uh, I tried some on. I look like Roy Orbison's gay nephew. Uh, but the hardest part about getting older for me is watching my parents age, because I know that I'm next. My mom is 70, my dad is 73, and uh, he just can't do the things he used to do. Uh, he used to be in charge, he used to run things. When I was growing up, he was the one who wore the pants around the house. Well, at least after the court order. Thank you for listening. And my mom, my mom's 71, her hearing's starting to go. Uh, so we've got her some hearing aids. They don't work, but she pretends that they do. She had a checkup last week. Doctor leaned over, put a stethoscope on her back and said, okay, Margaret, big breaths. She looked up at him and said, well, they used to be. <laughs> God bless her though. She's, uh, she can still do a lot of the things I can't do around the house. She, 71, she could take a 10-foot quilt and fold it perfectly in 1.6 seconds. When I fold the dish towel, I need to use my chin. She looks at me and says, Tony, you ought to be able to do that. You're a young guy. And I said, Mom, I'm 50 years old. The only way anybody would call me young is if I were dating Cher. All these uh, 60s and 70s rockers are getting old just like the rest of us. Uh, Cher is 64 years old. Uh, Paul McCartney, Beatles, 65. Mick Jagger, Mick Jagger, 66 years old. Let's face it, folks, he's halfway between being a stone and passing one. <laughs> My question is, is he going to keep doing this for another 10 or 20 years until he's like 86? I mean, will they need to build a ramp and give him a walker to get on stage? Will he need to change the lyrics to his songs? I can't get no <laughs> circulation. <laughs> hey, hey, you, you, get off of my oxygen tank. I'm not waiting on a lady. I'm just waiting on depends. <laughs> Here's a joke that doesn't belong anywhere. You know you're really old, friends, when your adult children talk about you and you're still in the room. <laughs> Honey, are those, are those headlights coming up the driveway? Oh God, we've got company. What are we going to do about Dad? I might not know what day it is, but I can still hear you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Punt. Uh, as I'm getting older, things bother me that didn't used to bother me. Um, soft kids, for instance. I think I'm qualified to say, as a father of three, and having taught school for a number of years, that kids in 2009 are soft compared to where, the way we were. All you need to do is go and look at a playground today. Go to a playground in 2009, what do you see? Brightly colored equipment, rounded plastic corners, set down low, pine bark mulch on the ground. Nobody gets hurt. They're not going to learn anything that way. <laughs> we didn't have that stuff. We had what we called monkey bars, and the teachers called Darwin's Selector. <laughs> 15 feet high, steel, anchored in concrete. <laughs> Concrete begins with the, letter, with the letter C, and if you fell onto the concrete, you had your choice of three other C words, compound fracture, concussion, or coma. And if there was a playground accident, you could overhear your mother having a conversation with a neighbor six weeks later. So how's little Billy doing? Well, he's eating solid food now, and he's squeezing the ball. Good news is those bolts don't come out of his neck until after Halloween. So we're going to rat hole the money we were going to spend on a costume and send him up street as a pale, clumsy little Frankenstein. Does anybody here remember letting their kids play lawn darts? Okay, you were terrible parents. Uh, if memory has, uh, the memory of lawn darts has faded for you, let me bring you up to speed. When you played lawn darts, what you did was take a bunch of 10-year-old kids and send them into the backyard unsupervised where they threw 14-inch metal tip darts at each other's feet from 20 yards away. In slow motion, it looked a little like this. <laughs> we were always just one errant throw from turning little Bradley Taylor into Vlad the Impaler. But to be fair, the, uh, the manufacturer did have a disclaimer on the box. It said, Jarts by Hasbro, the ultimate game of thinning the herd. <laughs> um, that's the stuff we had. What we didn't have back then were um, child guard caps on the medicine bottles. We didn't have airbags, car seats, bicycle helmets. We didn't even have seat belts until 1970. And even then, my parents didn't make me wear them. My mother would get a plaintive cry from the back seat. Well, shove it down the back of the seat and roll up the window. You're letting out the smoke. <laughs>